Hello everybody, it's Mr. Q again. What's up? I hope you guys are staying safe and having fun. Today, we're going to continue our discussion, sort of, about the 4th of July. Now, we're not really going to talk about the 4th of July so much, as we're going to talk about one aspect that is important to the 4th of July, and that is fireworks. <laughs> yeah, fireworks are super cool. They're fun to set off, and they're even more fun to watch. So today, hopefully you're going to learn at least 10 things about fireworks. All right, let's get into it. The first thing you need to know about fireworks is that it is extremely important that you practice safety. Fireworks can be dangerous. They can hurt people. They can seriously damage property. They can cause fires. And they can be, they can cause all kinds of problems. So it is very important that if you choose to use fireworks, that you are safe and that you are cautious and make sure that you have plenty of space around where you're shooting your fireworks so that no one and nothing gets hurt or damaged while you have fun <laughs> with your fireworks. And guys, this includes your animals. Many dogs have a hard time with fireworks because of the loud sounds. So it's very important that you are very thoughtful about your animals when you're shooting off your fireworks. They can get very scared and they can act very funny because of that. So, guys, Always be careful with fireworks. Always be safe. Make sure there's not anything above you. Make sure there's nothing very close to you so that you can be safe and you don't start any fires. You might even think, oh, it's okay. I'm going into the countryside and there's nobody here. There's no big trees out here. Okay, maybe that's good. But you have, still have to be careful because on the ground, there could be plants and stuff that could catch fire. And then you can start a big forest fire because of that. So it's very important that you are very careful with these so that you don't cause any damage to anybody or anything. So many of you may not know that fireworks were basically created in China over 2,000 years ago. Probably started out as somebody throwing some bamboo into a fire. <laughs> because bamboo has a lot of air pockets. It's why bamboo is so strong. But, besides the fiber inside of it, but when bamboo burns, the air pocket inside the wood expands and then when the bamboo cracks you get a pop so this is probably how it started and then they realized oh you know what if we put some other stuff in there like gunpowder and stuff like that then we can get an even bigger explosion <laughs> and some smart person realized you know what some chemicals, some metals, have a certain color when it burns. So they started experimenting and putting these different metals into their fireworks to see what colors would come out. And so now it's very scientific fireworks. There's very specific ingredients and amounts and timings that go into these fireworks. So uh, it's, a, it's a really challenging career to be a fireworks technician <laughs> nowadays. So, essentially, a firework is an explosive device. It doesn't usually have a giant destructive force because you're not using them on something or next to something 
The point is for there to be an open area so that it can spread out and you can see the beauty of it. So fireworks though have at least two parts to them. They have two charges as it were. The first charge is the propellant charge. The charge that makes the firework go, right? So if the firework doesn't go anywhere, then it might not have that first stage, but it might have other stages inside of it, right? But fireworks that like go up into the air, first stage is the lift charge. Basically, you have an explosive black powder, which when it ignites inside the small area, the air and the combustion have to escape. And in the direction that they escape, the firework goes in the other direction. All right, simple physics, right? And these fireworks under that type of power can go up to a thousand feet or 300 meters. The second part, the second charge, is a time delay fuse. So the first charge, you light the charge, it goes, it creates the lift charge, it takes off, but it's still burning inside. There's another fuse inside, and that other fuse keeps burning for a little while, and then at a certain time, then that sets off the next part of the firework. And, de and then depending on the firework, there could be other fuses in there that are also lit that will catch fire and then they will explode at some point. So that's how you have a firework that has many different stages and you can see a firework that goes up, it explodes, and then there's other explosions and stuff and there's a bunch of different colors. So that's how they do it. And they just put different metal salt chemicals in to those sections of the firework to get the colors that they want. Of course, there's many, many different types of fireworks available that people can purchase. Some places, some types of fireworks are not legal because they pose too much of a fire hazard. So you have to be careful. You have to know what's allowed where you want to shoot your fireworks because you don't want the police coming and arresting you or giving you a ticket for fi shooting fireworks that are illegal, right? It's part of the safety thing. So you can go to a store, especially in America, and especially around the 4th of July, and they have just whew, so many different types of fireworks. So let's talk about them. Fireworks stores in America can be huge with a ton of different fireworks available to buy. First, you have your ground or your handheld fireworks. So some fireworks are very, we'll say safe. <laughs> They're safe enough even for little kids to hold. And those fireworks are called sparklers. So basically it's just little sparks. It's not actually fire yet in these particular types of fireworks. It's just gunpowder that just kind of just quiet. It's not very loud. There's not any fire. It's just sparks coming off of it. It's fun to hold. They don't last very long. And uh, most people would say that that's pretty safe. Then you have the black cats, which are, like I said, little tiny sticks of dynamite. <laughs> so they're wrapped up. You have black powder wrapped up, you light the fuse and it makes a pop, right? And now of course, the more powder you put in there, the bigger the pop. And unfortunately, the more powder you put in there, the more power it has and the more potential to hurt you it has. So black cats, if you were to hold it in your hand, which I don't suggest, <laughs> It might not hurt too much. It'll hurt a little bit, for sure. But as they get bigger, there's a chance it could like cause serious damage to your hand. You could even lose your hand. So it's very important that unless it's sparklers, don't hold most 
fireworks in your hand, okay? Set it up away from you to be able to watch and enjoy. Only sparklers, really, are the only ones that you should be holding. All right, so the black cats, they just make popping sounds. There's not really any color or anything cool to watch. They just make sounds. But then you also have other ground fireworks that you put on the ground and they do stuff on the ground. Like <laughs> they have fun little like tanks that you could put on the ground and then they like, they shoot things out of them. <laughs> They're fun to watch, and they're not particularly dangerous either, but they are shooting fire, sort of. So make sure that they're not aimed at something very flammable, right? There's other things that spin around on the floor and other things that, uh, that are not super dangerous, but they can be dangerous. Remember, you're dealing with fire. Fire works, right? <laughs> fire is hot. So no matter what firework you're using, you can burn yourself. So be careful. You also have fountains that are on the ground. So they don't go anywhere, but they're shaped like this usually, like a little cone. And you light it, and then it's like it just shoots stuff out the top of it. So it looks like a fountain. It looks like it's a fountain shooting water, but instead of water, it's fire. <laughs> This is a common sparkler, which is relatively safe. These are black cats, the little sticks of dynamite that pop and make loud sounds. And these are those tanks that shoot things and at each other. And then you also have some things that spin around on the ground and have a bright light. In addition to the fountains, you also have fireworks that are designed to fly into the air. Now, fountains are dangerous. They're shooting fire. So it's very important that you're careful. And these rockets or mortars are fireworks that go into the air are also very dangerous. Especially the mortars because they actually explode. So it's very important that those don't explode near the ground or on the ground. It's very important that they explode in the air. All right. So these things fly up into the air and then they explode and they make sounds and they make colors and designs probably. So those last three, the fountains, the rockets, and the mortars are the most dangerous and you have to be the most careful with to make sure you and nobody else gets hurt and to make sure that they're as beautiful as they're supposed to be. Here you can see some fountains that are shooting off. These are packages of rockets that you can buy. And you should always set them up so that the, you are not holding rockets. And these are mortars. These are very dangerous and fly very high. All right, so let's recap what we talked about today. First, last, always remember safety, right? I cannot stress this enough. You must be safe. You must have space around to be able to light your fireworks and you must have space above you that if you're shooting anything up that it won't catch on fire, all right? So fireworks started over 2,000 years ago in China and we've been perfecting them ever since. Now they have, these explosive devices have multiple charges, especially the ones that go into the air. The first one is the lift charge, where an explosive chemical sends out hot gas and stuff, and it causes it to rise. And then there's a second part where the actual metal salts and chemicals in there will light and catch on fire and create beautiful lights. So that's essentially how a firework works. And, of course, there's a huge variety of fireworks. You can never go wrong with a sparkler. It's the safest of all of the fireworks. Safe enough for even for little kids to hold. And once you get more and more, more big, more and more, when you increase the size more and more, they become more and more dangerous. So 
they also become more and more fun to watch. <laughs> so I'm just saying that, you know, you have your sparklers, you have your black cats, you have your small ground fireworks, and then you have your bigger fireworks like fountains and stuff that shoot, can shoot sparks and flames several feet into the air, or they can fly hundreds of feet into the air. So there's a big variety and make sure you understand what you're buying and the space requirements for what you're buying. All right, guys, your homework for today is to talk about what kind of fireworks you think you might want to have. If you could, if you could light some fireworks, which ones might you like to f shoot off? Are you scared and maybe just want to have a sparkler? <laughs> Do you want to have some little fireworks fighting each other maybe? <laughs> or do you want to see fireworks flying into the sky and blowing up into beautiful shapes and colors? So write down at least five sentences about what kind of fireworks you think you might be interested in and then share with your classmates. See what they're interested in. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Keep staying safe and having fun, and we'll see you next time.